All right. Um, posters have been taken down. And uh, what's next? What's next? Oh, Barbie. But I feel like I gotta switch it up. I've been in here for far too long, and I don't know. I just, I just need, I just need to do something new for now. But I don't, I don't know where to go. Oh, I know exactly where to go. All right, let's see if it still works. All right, I like this. Hey, moviegoers, this is the Movie Critic, and welcome back to another movie review. Today, the movie I'm going to be reviewing is Greta Gerwig's newest film that's based on a children's IP that's titled... If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on this side to get information on videos in the near future. Now that I got that out of the way, let's get into a review of Barbie. And action! Hey, Barbie, can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. Barbie is having the time of her life in the colorful and seemingly perfect world of Barbie Lake. However, when she experiences an existential crisis, she must travel to the human world in order to understand herself and discover her true purpose. Her kind of sort of boyfriend, Ken, comes along for the ride, and together, they both discover the harsh truths and make new friends along the road to enlightenment. Starting off with the things that I liked. The first thing that I liked about this film was its theme. The overarching theme for this story is change and learning how to adapt to the unknown. This is something that our Barbie protagonist struggles with throughout the entirety of this film and watching her overcome the highs and lows of her journey just to see her prevail when the credits roll is honestly a really good feeling. It's a very thought-provoking film and honestly that's something I didn't think about for a film about the Barbie IP which leads me into the next thing that I liked about this film which was its direction. The director of this film is Greta Gerwig, and while I am familiar with her, I've never actually seen any of her movies until I saw Barbie. One thing I would always hear about Greta Gerwig's direction is how she captures the essence of identity, as her protagonists will struggle with who they are and take steps into becoming who they want to be. Barbie fits Greta's directing style and is surprising to a lot of the audience who really went to the film thinking that Barbie would be a hyper vibrant film with cheesy humor and over the top musical sequences. It still has that but it works so well which leads me into my next thing that I like about the film which is its use of color and there is so much color in this film. It's just so vibrant. It's so amazing. Especially with settings like Barbie Land and the fictional Mattel headquarters, there's a lot of colors being like put into the forefront when watching the film and it's just so cool. I remember reading an article about the film using an extensive amount of pink paint on set so much that it caused a global shortage because Greta Gerwig refused to use CGI out of fear of it not being authentic. Now, doesn't that sound familiar? But honestly, I love the commitment of making sure the colors are extremely naturally vibrant 
and I do think it paid off. Speaking of paying off, let's talk about the next thing that I liked about this film, and that was the actors. This cast had no right to be as good as it was. Now that I think about it, the cast for this film is just as stacked as Oppenheimer was. Like when you look at all the people that are in this film and in Oppenheimer, like for different reasons, it's just completely stacked. And it's just so cool. It's really amazing. Like there's so many familiar faces in Barbie that like some of them are the side characters of all time, like how it was in Oppenheimer, but like just like in Oppenheimer, they each give it their all for whatever role they are given, and it's just so amazing. Everyone in this film did such a great job. And everyone also looked good. Mm, they looked so cool. They looked so good. Everybody looked amazing. Which makes me get into my next thing that I liked about this film, which was the costume designs. In this film... If it doesn't get anything else at the Oscars, if this film doesn't get best costume design, I might I, I don't know what I'll do. I honestly don't know what I'll do. Cause everybody ate and left no crumbs. I'm saying this unironically now. One of my favorite sequences in the film were when Ken and Barbie first made their way from Barbie Land into the real world and just the different clashes of clothing aesthetics and like everything was just so unique and I really did enjoy that. Whoever let Jacqueline Duran cook knew what they were doing and as of now I don't know what other film had such unique designs for their characters as Barbie did. Getting into the sixth thing that I liked about this film, that would be the comedy. This film is very funny. It is hilarious. One of my favorite running gags in this film has to be, for me, the fictional Mattel with Will Ferrell and their little shenanigans. I know people have their own opinions about the fictional Mattel Corporation and their like, like antics and how they don't really match up with the film and that they're just there to like add on some more time. And I get it, but like, Will Ferrell, so, like, you know, I went. Besides that gag, there are so many other funny moments in this film that will just really have you laughing out loud, and just, they're all really great moments, and just overall amazing. But there is one thing in this film that tops the Mattel Corporation shenanigans, and it combines both comedy and the power of song to create what I believe is a great example of what is the definition of a great nomination for best original song. But we'll get to that. Don't you don't don't worry your little head. We will get to that. The last thing that I liked about this film was its soundtrack. The soundtrack is completely solid with tracks from artists such as Nicki Minaj and I Spice, Dua Lipa, Charlie XCX, Sam Smith, Tame Impala, Khalid, I haven't heard that name in a while, and Billie Eilish, and so on. It's just completely stacked with a lot of people on it. A lot of really unexpected people, like Tame Impala, that's, that's, that's crazy. But out of all of the solid tracks on this film, there is one song that sticks out like a diamond in the rough. And it probably will be my favorite song of the year when it's all said and done. That song being, I'm Just Ken, sung by the man himself, Ryan Gosling. Holy moly! Oh my god. That song is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. If this song is not nominated for Best Original Song at the Oscars, I will write. I will write it! 
The song is so good and the sequence is probably going to be one of my favorite scenes from this whole entire year as the use of colors once again set the stage for Ryan Gosling and the remainder of Ken Kind as they go into their 11th hour and it is glorious. Overall, good soundtrack, great song from Ryan Gosling. He is kin of. Getting into the only thing that I didn't like about this film. Why was James Marsden not there? He was right there. And no one didn't think to pick him up. He was right there. Right there. He could have been a great decision for a variant of Ken and I'm pretty sure he would have loved to do it. I mean, it's it's James Marsden. How did you miss this opportunity? Hollywood. Hollywood. I want you to take a good look at this. Look at him. Look at him! Sorry, I got out of control there. That won't happen again. Getting into the things that I noticed about this film, the one thing that I noticed is the film's maturity. One of the main criticisms that I've seen for this film is how it's not really kid-centered for a film that is basically about an IP of a toy that little girls play with. And I can honestly understand this critique and like how it can like the messages while they are essential to girls today and that they should take this message to heart. I can understand why people might think that some kids aren't like very like aren't going to grasp it as much because of how intellectual it is. But honestly, I think that people are starting to underestimate kids nowadays. They know things, and I'm pretty sure that kids would be able to grasp what Barbie puts on the table for them. I mean, I can understand, because it's PG-13, it's not like it's R-rated like Oppenheimer, so I can understand like why it's like a little criticism, because people would really want to take their little like girls to see it, but then when they hear the jokes that happen in the film, and how intellectual like the writing is, they might think their kid won't grasp it, but you never know until you try. The last thing that I noticed about this film is its message. While the overarching theme for this film is change and how to like adjust into the unknown, the messages that are placed into this film range from feminism, uh, patriarchy and how bad it is, womanhood and how it is to be a woman in today's society, um, sexism, harassment, and just like, it, go, it, it touches a lot of corners, it touches a lot of bases. They're done in good faith, and they're done well. Like, there's a lot of stuff that they juggle, and honestly, I think they do it well. And the people out there who give this film a low rating as they do because of those messages are honestly very douchey and um, they are the very things that they hate. They are snowflakes. They are snowflakes, they are very sensitive and stop, just stop. If you don't wanna watch it, you don't have to watch it. No one's forcing you to. The movie, it will cater to people that will take the message in a very positive light. You don't have to watch this film. If you don't, if you're not interested in this film at all, you don't have to watch it. You are not forced to. Just no. I mean, I'm just a YouTuber with 150 subscribers, so who's going to listen to me? But I'm just saying, if you don't want to watch the movie, don't watch the movie. But if you are interested, you there is something in there for everyone. It's not a mean-spirited film that douches on men like people say. It has a message for all like bases and it touches all bases. It touches on the faults of men sometimes and it also touches on the faults of women sometimes. 
And that's what I really like about this film. And you know, it's just, it's very stupid to hate on the film because the message is just stuff that are actually happening in the world. So just, just don't watch it. I mean, I understand that people will say that like it bad, it like bashes the message over the head. And honestly, I can understand why that could be like a little too much. And like, that's a understandable criticism, but just to hate the message alone, no, no. Don't do that. Barbie is the newest live action film based on a children's toy brand that takes excessive liberties into becoming a bold experience at the movies. With a thought provoking theme, unique direction from Greta Gerwig, incredible uses of color, great performances from actors and actresses, beautiful costume designs, non stop comedic moments, and a bopping soundtrack with Ryan Gosling leading the charge. The film has so much to offer for the audience. While James Marsden is unfortunately not a part of the film, and some people question the film's maturity being too much for kids nowadays, while the film's core messages makes the right wing curl up in a ball and cry in the corner, Barbie is a film that is relatable to people in so many ways. When I first heard about this film, I expected it to be a fun story about Barbie going into the real world and learning surface level things about the current world that we live in. What I got instead was a film about Barbie going through a journey of self-discovery to learn that at the end of it all, change is inevitable and that it is important to know who you are so that you can work into becoming the person you want to be. The Lego movie ran so that this film could soar into the box office with $1 billion to its name, which is a phenomenal milestone for a film such as this. The month of July really showed the world how important movies are and why the theater will never die out. As I have said previously, it is important to understand this with the SAG after strike still continuing on. The power of original films is still here to stay, and the success of Barbie shines a beacon pink light of hope that has no sense of dying out. On the metal status ranking, I give Barbie a platinum status. And that's going to be it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this review did not come out during the time that I wanted to. A lot of things have been happening. As you can see, I am not at home anymore. I am in my college dorm. Um, starting off sophomore year, I had my first day as of this video, my first day of classes. And I am honestly pretty excited for what's gonna happen for both college and for this channel. But just don't expect me to be able to post like all like the movies that I probably wanted to post, like I might still try to make a review, but like for the big, big movies that are coming out later this year, most definitely, I'm gonna be making reviews for those 100%. And just don't expect them to come out so quickly. Give me some time. Cause I, I'm, yeah, just give me some time. And it'll come out and you'll like it. Also, in my last video, I did say that there would be, like, some information coming up, like, throughout these, like, probably, like, next few weeks. There will be. There might be a channel update. Um, and there's probably going to be some really interesting stuff that you guys might want to check into when that video does come out. But, yeah, that's really the gist of it. Just be on the lookout for that. And, yeah. But yeah, this was the Barbie review. If you guys did like the film and you want to talk about it, let's go in the comments and just talk about it. Let's start a conversation. Well, I think that's going to be it for this review. I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are, moviegoers. This is the Movie Critic. And that's a wrap.